Hi everybody, uh, today we're going to have a look inside the Grand California at the dash layout, so from the driver and passenger's perspective. Uh, so I'll show you the buttons that are on our model here, uh, just take you through them and, uh, and let you have a look. So uh, to start with on the driver's card here, uh, we have the central locking button, uh, which allows us to lock the vehicle, unlock and unlock the vehicle uh, from the driver's side. Uh, if you remember, if you watched one of the previous videos, there is also a central locking button in the back of the cab, uh, in the sleeping area, so you can again lock the vehicle uh, on the central locking button inside there as well, but you've got one on here. Uh, then you've got your electric windows for either side on top, and you've got your um, electric mirrors, so you can move this to the left and to the right, and obviously allow your mirrors to move from uh, whichever way you want them to go around as well, and that's all based off there uh, with a heating element as well, so they are heated as well uh, that's on the front on there. So that's all on your, your door card section that's on here. Uh, and then sitting in the driver's seat here, uh, we'll get a better shot of this, but you've got your lights panel down on the side that's here, so you've got side lights and main lights uh, switching that's, uh, that's through there. And then moving over to your actual steering wheel itself, uh, so you've got a flat bottom steering wheel that's here. Uh, this steering wheel is a leather steering wheel, and it's heated. Uh, there's a little button on the dash, uh, which is just here, which is for the heated steering wheel, uh, which uh, I'm sure is really nice. Not uh, not tried it myself as yet, but uh, uh, I'm sure it is nice to have a, a heated steering wheel. Uh, so as with all Volkswagen model vehicles, you move it up, gives you the intermittent wiper and two more speeds from there. Pull them towards you, uh, and that squirts your windscreen. You've also got a rock switch on top uh, that degrees the uh, the speed of which uh, these go across. If you went for the lights and visions pack with the vehicle, this particular vehicle hasn't got lights and visions pack, but if you did have a vehicle with lights and visions pack, obviously that would give you automatic headlights, uh, and it would also give you the uh, automatic uh, windscreen wiper function as well. Then on the other side here, you've got your indicators up and down, uh, main beams pull towards you and uh, if you push your main beam back uh, that will put your main beams on permanently and again those are the, pretty much the same setup on every Volkswagen vehicle. Moving on to the actual steering wheel itself here, got a fully functioning multi-function steering wheel so you can move your volume up and down on your on your radio, uh, your tracks up and down on your radio that's there, uh, you can go through your central console so your central console has things like driving data, uh, system systems, uh, navigation which this Vehicle's got navigation that's in there, your telephone which you can connect uh, via there, and those are all accessed through moving these buttons left and right. You've got voice controls, so you can press and hold the button and speak to the vehicle. Lots of different functions that's on there, and on the other side, on here, which we've got our um, cruise control, uh, which is on the function that's on here and how that works. Uh, we've done a video before on, on cruise control. Uh, we'll probably do another one again when this vehicle's actually on the road as well, and we'll show you how all that works. Uh, but those are the controls which are steering wheel mounted. All the vehicles are automatic, so everyone's got an automatic uh, gearbox that's here. Um, I'm just going to very quickly do that again, just to show you the buttons on either side of it. So excuse the pinging noise, but we've got three buttons that are down on here. So we've got ESP off, uh, we've got parking, which is our parking sensors, which comes up on the front of the screen here. And then the final button, which is down here, which is to do with the step. Um, I'll just take that out of there so that it's not bleeping at us. So the switch for the uh, for the step in the rear, uh, what that actually does is by pressing that it deactivates that step. So when you open the door and close the door it won't actually keep coming up and it'll just stay in into the vehicle. Uh, you can also do that as well as uh, on the control panel which we'll be doing a, a video on that very shortly as well. Uh, there's camping mode uh, and camping mode part of that uh, is that the step would actually stay out so um, rather than, at the moment, standard feature, you open the door, the step comes out, shut the door, the step goes in. Uh, you can turn off the step completely via the button on the dash, or, and you can also put the vehicle into camping mode, which will leave the step out permanently, uh, so you've got like all three bases covered basically with the step. Uh, so we've got our heating controls here, uh, so we've got our hot and cold, our fan, actually these just twist around for your fan controls, and where you want the air to come out from. Things like air conditioning, the vehicle's got air conditioning, that's here, and your recirculation. And then the final uh, couple of buttons, one we've already been through obviously is your uh, heated steering wheel that's on this one, uh, your hazard lights on the dash, uh, the ability to turn off the stop-start technology. So if you've used a vehicle before with stop-start, 
you put your foot on the brake, you come to a junction, your engine uh, shuts off. Uh, as soon as you take your foot off again, it, it wakes back up again and, uh, and lets you drive off. Uh, that switch turns it off. And then the final button that's on there as well is a maximum charge battery uh, button. So what that allows you to do, under normal circumstances, your batteries are charged whenever you're driving along. Uh, and obviously when you're driving, your vehicle's at a certain rev range, uh, and that obviously activates the alternator within the vehicle, and that produces a charge to charge your batteries up, to charge the charge and charging the, the onboard batteries. Uh, the maximum charge function allows you to do that while you're not driving. So if you would just turn the engine over um, and try and to charge the batteries that way a normal on a normal vehicle for example uh, it would take quite a long time for those those to charge up because the vehicle's revving at a very low revs um, so what it actually does the maximum charge function basically then you press that button it ups the revs on there uh, on the vehicle and it'll put a maximum charge output then to the batteries so it's like a quick charge really for your batteries uh, so I suppose if your batteries were low and you were on site somewhere or you parked up somewhere, uh, you could run the engine for a little while with all those and it would just charge the batteries through. This particular vehicle has got solar panel on the roof as well. And that also does that, obviously it's charging the batteries as you go along. Real world use, that will kind of give us an idea of, of how good these things are at keeping their charge with the solar panels on the roof. So the rest of your dash, uh, if you're used to a crafter dash, you've got all these pockets in the top. Uh, so it's like storage pockets that's here. Uh, you've got cup holders on both ends of the dash. Uh, on here you've got a USB plug uh, into the stereo and uh, a three and a half mil jack socket. So anything, uh, either uh, some phones for example have got jacks on them, uh, iPads, iPods, uh, I've got them on on some models as well, so you could plug directly into there if you wanted to play music, uh, straight into there. Um, and then on the other side is we've got a 12 volt socket as well. Uh, that's quite handy for things like dash cams. Uh, so if you've got a dash cam in your vehicle, for example, you could put that down on that side of the dash uh, and plug it straight into that socket um, that's there as well. So what we're talking about 12 volt sockets, you've actually got three on your dash. So there's one in the top section there. There's another one just down here. Uh, which is just on the on the side next to the steering wheel and then you've also got one just down here at the front as well which is in there so plenty of sockets uh, 12 volt sockets as well should you need them for power and things like that on the uh, on the vehicle uh, and then finally on the dash uh, two last things one glove box so a big glove box in here something new for california owners in here as well a glove box that your handbook actually goes in um, it doesn't go in the uh, in the 6.1 or the 6, but on the uh, on the crafter here you can fit your handbook in there, uh, which is always nice and uh, good to have some space in there. Uh, and then finally we've got the stereo. Um, now the stereo system in here, this is the uh, got a navigation system here, so we've got radio, uh, we've got media output, so you can have different sources that's in there. So um, CD, which I'll show you in a minute, SD cards, AUX, which is your three and a half inch socket, Bluetooth audio, and Wi-Fi. Um, phone, obviously you can connect a phone to the vehicle, uh, voice control, uh, so you can use voices with it, uh, navigation, which is uh, based off an SD card, which is in here, traffic information, uh, car, which just gives you information about the vehicle since it's starting, and then your main menu as well, uh, which has all the different functions that's on the vehicle, so things like CarNet, uh, App Connect, so the vehicle's got App Connect as standard, so you can plug in your mobile phones to it uh, and obviously display things that are on there so uh, things that I think I've, if you check out my uh, video on App Connect it'll show you the kind of things that you can do that's on there uh, and again we'll do another video on App Connect on this as well because there's a few little differences on the size of screen uh, that you can use it for as well so we'll probably do one on this and one on the, the ocean as well to show you how they, uh, how they both work there. Uh, I mentioned about CD player in there, there is still a CD player in the vehicle that's actually located in the glove box so in the glove box you have uh, two SD card readers that's in there. Uh, one is for the navigation SD card uh, and then one can be for uh, music and, and sound and things like that that you've got on there. And then you've also got the CD as well. Uh, above our heads that's here, now this is something which is standard in all the vehicles, uh, we've got controls for your lights. So you've got individual reading lights on here. Uh, you've got your button to turn on so that when you open and close your vehicle uh, your lights come on like you would in a normal car um, that's there and then you've got some storage bits so you've got two storage bits here one and two so you've got two storage bits and extra storage here as well uh, so you can put things in uh, you need these are quite deep uh, so these storage ones go all the way back uh, to the headlining that's here you will see as well these two storage boxes uh, that are up here as well uh, they are designed within the, a standard stereo fit, uh, so you could obviously fit extra things in there as well should you want to. 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll look at the dash and all the buttons that's on our vehicle that's here. As we get new vehicles arriving as well on the uh, on the Grand, obviously there'll be extra functions that are on those vehicles. There'll be more buttons and things on the dash. So we'll probably do an update to this video as well when we get some more vehicles that come through. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.